It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1748, recorded Thursday, October 10th, 2019. Out of Lux. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have an incredible new toy. Dick has one of his favorite pins, which is available in the marketplace, and one of my favorite Alibaba gadgets from this month's theme of Alibaba gadgets. All next on The Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing growing LEDs. Get ready for The Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is. At least the top three out of the Musketeers, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing very well, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Doing very good. No, we are new? lucky to have. Fresh. <laughs> I was just saying, we're so lucky to have power. I think Twitter is still off. I didn't uh, did know, you know this. About I hadn't. I had not heard this. Yes. They're out of power. Uh, no, in California, they have this weird thing that because it's windy. It's safer to shut off 800,000 people's power than let them have power and who knows. But anyway, I believe Twitch has been off for like two days. It's the most bizarre. <laughs> Chat room, is that correct? Is Twitch still what? off? Because I went on the other day and there was just a thing that said, sorry, we have no power. We're off. We hope to be back on Thursday. It's fire season? Because it's, it's too windy. Because, because I assume, you know, they use wind turbines a lot, a lot. Yes. And if it gets yes. too wind, if there's not enough wind, you can't generate power. If there's too much wind, you also have to shut them down because this, they could spin too fast and they could break. I've seen oh, a few okay. videos no, of them uh, It breaking. says Twitter's still down. It's PG&E. Wow. Did you ever hear of a company that PG&E just says, well, you know what? We don't want you to have a power outage by accident, so we'll just do it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. It that is, is very, very strange. Bizarre. It is very bizarre. Luckily, I'm in I'm in Texas where the power don't go out because we'll just light up another oil rig and we got power for days. <laughs> um, that is so interesting. Yeah, I just, it is. Uh, it's I new. Wonder if I there's hope. a way that you could claim like. No, I, I need it because, you know, I have a sister who's diabetic and if she, her insulin isn't chilled. Oh, you know, I don't major know. problem. I don't um, know. Maybe, maybe they would fly a, a generator to your home. Yeah. Or like, could they selectively turn one person? Because I know that a oh. lot of times, like, hospitals stay up and that sort of oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Well, they have their own generators. Yeah. Uh, PC guy says Southern California is going black in areas. Wow. Wow. Yeah. How weird is that? <laughs> Captain Jay is investing in Yankee Candle. That's probably a, <laughs> that's probably a good move. <sighs> I'm investing uh, in just burning dollar bills. Uh, oh, to, wow. Yeah. That Minecraft thing is working out well. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm, I think, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, no, I sent you a photo. You know, you yes. know uh, when you... Get a package from Amazon. It sometimes says your package was left on the front porch, the back porch, the lobby. Well, they have to add a new checkbox because when I got home yesterday, this is where my Amazon package was. This is so it sad. Was, <laughs> One second. I'm having a hard time cutting over. Uh, yeah. My Amazon package was in front of the building, wedged between... Two garbage cans. That that takes some. I don't know if I, that, creativity. I, you have yeah. to have some major jumps in logic to think that that is the place to put an Amazon package. Right. However, it's better than a couple weeks ago, and it wasn't my package. I came home, and somebody's box was leaning against the front out of building door. So in other words, anybody walking by would see an Amazon box 
just sitting there. At least my box, someone could think the it's only trash. reason I actually I just yes, won't pick it it's up. It's trash. The only reason I, I I looked is people in the in our building are very good about making sure everything is in the trash. And I thought, well, someone wouldn't just throw a FedEx uh, envelope <laughs> on the ground. And then I thought, wait a minute. I'm <laughs> getting something from Amazon today. That's my package. It's, and it was. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. that's bad. That's real bad. Yeah, th that is. Um, that's what they call frustration-free packaging, right? You yes, exactly. 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 Oh, maybe Amazon should just have a box that just says "guess." <laughs> your pack. Your package is there. Guess that. That way, it could cover in the window box, uh, in between the garbage cans. Uh, in front of your neighbor's door, down the drain, that way they, no matter where they put it, you would know that it's been put somewhere near I, you. I wonder really if one day we're going to have a standard because the, I, it it's almost feels like something that should be built into homes now. It's like, yes, you know, you I, had the small little mail slot. Well, now I need a package receptacle to keep all my things safe. Um and also, it's a huge problem in at, at, at big, humongous um, uh, apartment complexes. Is oh yes, Amazon the, the guy doesn't lobbies, want to spend. Yes, yeah. the lobbies are filled. What is dealing with boxes? Yeah. Well, you know, I actually measured and was going to design. You know, you know, the Disneyland Studio is uh, at street level, and I thought if I could take half a window. And build something that people they could just put packages in it. It would just drop into the studio, and I had to have a a, a way to for it to slam closed, um, so that no rain would get in, and hopefully no one would stick their hand in. Uh, <laughs> but what the problem is, there's also a giant gate, yeah, uh, over the windows, and I could only get a four by six inch package, so it's a little bit, <laughs> it's too much effort to. Uh, build something that can just get a tiny package. Also, knowing them, they would probably dump anything for anybody in the building in my uh, <laughs> Right. Away. Oh, look how convenient. This whole building has a <laughs> delivery slot. <laughs> oh, yeah. This guy oh, good. This guy dropped it in and this guy takes care of it. He delivers yeah. it through the building. Yeah, he yeah. must be the building Nintendo or something. This is, this is great. Have a new Amazon package. Um, yeah, that's, that's anyway, the worst Amazon. I have ever seen. Yeah. Well, how, where do you get yours? You front you have porch a... is is uh, I oh, luckily I, have a so I have a, a like an entryway for my door, and then off to the side there's the smallest porch. Like you could put a chair on it, but there's a pillar in between the door area and the porch area, and so that pillar is is wide enough that it it makes sense for um, the smart Amazon deliverer to put it behind that pillar and you can't see it from the street. Oh. But it's about 50-50 if they'll put it behind the pillar or not or just drop it right in front of the, on the place, on the front, uh, foot, uh, on the mat, you know, and just leave it there. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Anyway. Very. Uh, sh should we just jump into yeah, our... Yeah, let's jump in. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to talk about dimmers, and you can learn from my experience. Oh. Uh, so we put all LED lights here uh, in our little Klieg lights here at Disneyland. And as you know, with LEDs, you really should get special LED dimmers because ordinary dimmers, uh, LEDs are so efficient that you often can't turn them all the way off. So I bought two different ones. I guess the most famous name is uh, Lutron. That's their CL lamp dimmer. Uh, that's for LEDs and those, uh, I think it's those compact uh, fluorescent bulbs. And the world famous Top Greena. Okay. I bought that only because this got excellent reviews on Amazon. So we're going to see how dim we can be. Not with the brain, but with the light. Oh, and I... And Instead of using uh, our eyes, we're going to oh. use a lux meter, all right? Wow. Uh, I tried to Fancy. get a deluxe meter, but all they had was a lux meter. Um, so here we're, uh, let's go up a little. All right, so we're at 160, roughly 160 lux. 
Um, it, it varies because I can't hold the angle uh, exactly steady. That's so what we want is the lowest number before the light goes out. And we're down to 62, 58, 53, 49, and 40. Oh, you know what? Just click up to that light for a minute. All right. This is as low as you can dim it with the Lutron. All right. 36 Lux. It so seems pretty bright. This is where. <laughs> yes, it does. It was ridiculous. And now it's up to 44. All right. So we're going to say it's the angle of this thing. Uh, 44 Lux. All right. So that's as dim as we could get. And it would not go off. So now we're going to bum bum Thomas Edison eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, we're switching now to the top greener. We could have come up with a better name. Top greener. Right, top greener. Isn't that fun? What a here. weird name. Yeah. I feel yeah. like they didn't even realize. Put like the lights in here. Let's just throw two words together. Top <laughs> okay, there we and are. green. And we'll get this guy, and we'll turn him all the way up, and get our techie meter here. I want to get that so it doesn't go over the lens in the back. All right. All right, this actually almost looks like a little bit brighter to begin with. Actually, it is brighter to begin with. So we're going down, 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 top greener. The other number we got, the lowest we got... With the Lutron was 44. There's what? 44. Oh. There's what? 34. I'm looking up. There's oh. 33. I'm going to have Dennis go up to the light for a minute because this is what's happened. <clears throat> An LED, you can dim it and then it will go out. Wow, we're down to 19 and it's still lit. And we're down to 17. It's still lit. It goes out at 16. Um, all right, so it's kind of wow. amazing, all right? Yeah, it's like a huge <laughs> difference. So <laughs> with the Lutron, the lowest lux we could get was 44, and then we couldn't dim it anymore. That was the end of the range on that. And with the top greener, we got as low as 16 lux before the light went out. So you can dim it to off uh, with this guy. So now let's go to the computer and check some prices. So the Lutron is $15.98, 16 bucks. And it got, let me see, got 3.7 out of 5 stars. The top greener is, oh, wow, way cheaper. <laughs> and you could save 7 cents <laughs> if you go to Wiki, whatever that thing is. And it got 4.1, so it got a better rating. And it's a lot cheaper. So if you want, um, you have LEDs and you want to have a, a, a fairly large range of dimming, I would recommend the Top Greener. And that thing I used is the Dr. Meter Digital LED Lux Meter. And there's something strange about that. Let me just show you. It is... <laughs> Oh, first of all, you can find these things on uh, these light meters. They're cheap. I actually paid thirty-five dollars for mine, but you can see here. Although twenty dollars, two hundred and eighteen dollars, they go, they jump back and forth. Fourteen dollars or six hundred dollars. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel like some of these would uh, be used in the film industry. Yeah, I think so. Uh, here's the one that I bought. Okay, the professional meter, it was $35. And when I go buy again, we don't know when this item will be available. Okay. So then I typed in, I typed in Dr. Meter LX1332B. And it says, no results. All we have is the LX1332B, which is the exact number I typed in. Now it's $97. Now it's $97. Um, anyway, you don't need that 
when I bought it, it was $35. But I'm sh sure one of those other meters will do. But you don't need that because now you know that you want the top greener for the widest range of dimming uh, LED lights. That's it. If you want top dimmer, of the line. Dimmer, 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 dimmer. <laughs> if you want top of the line, think top greener. Yes, yes, I know. That and the chat room, this Chinese is very funny. engineering. The chat room is saying, what is this, consumer reports? This is... <laughs> This is very scientific for this the Gizwiz. This is way show. too professional for the Gizwiz. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, you know, it's very funny because I took a sheet of white paper and and I hooked up the two dimmers to two different sets. And I'm doing and I'm thinking, you know, this is very hard to tell what's doing what. And then I thought, well, how much could a meter be? Uh, so I was glad I bought it because it was really uh, interesting to see that. The Lutron, first of all, the top greener seems to be able to make the bowl brighter. It seems to have a, a, a much wider range. It's way better constructed. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, the, the, than the Lutron. Anyway. So here it is on Amazon, uh, top greener. Now it's 11. Oh, it's, oh, it's 11. Yeah. Oh, you uh, know what? I think it's cheaper in black. Oh, oh, yes. Always. That's how it works. Yep. Dollar yep. off. You now it's funny. Packs. Normally, no. if you want black, it's more, but with this, it's it's less. Okay, so get black if you're trying to save some cash. Uh, then the Lutron here is fifteen. Let's see if it changes colors based off of uh, changes price. It does change price off based off of color. Ten bucks for the white one. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And then now, also, yeah, but you don't want that. Yeah, you don't want that one. You don't want yeah. no name brand. I want top greener. <laughs> Stuff greener. Uh, and then the chat room pointed out that you can get also a, a meter oh. from AliExpress. Look at that. That, that looks, is it. That's it. 29 13, bucks. 32, yeah. You should buy these in bulk and then resell them on <laughs> Amazon for 90, whatever it's going for now. 90 something dollars. 95 bucks. Yeah. Look at that. That is a riot. There you go. That Very cool. A, that was a, that's a nice experiment that you did. I'm impressed. Yeah. Very impressed. I'm impressed too. But don't yeah. expect any more of that. <laughs> you get that once a year, okay? Yeah. This is this is our highly technical show. That's right. This is our, <laughs> exactly exactly. <laughs> um, all right. So gadget number two. Well, I'll explain what it is and uh, what I got. Okay. It's not much of a what the heck is it. If you know about Night Eyes. A metal straw. Uh, okay, we've talked about it in the past. It's the Inca pen from Night Eyes. The thing with the Inca pen is they discontinued it and it was out of the marketplace for about three years. And I kept calling the company and said, where's the Inca pen? And they said, well, we replaced it with the Inca pen stylus which was bigger, and I didn't need the stylus. And I started looking online, and I went to their website, and suddenly it was back. So I called them up, and I said, it's back? And they, they said, yeah, mainly because of people like you and fans of the Inca pen <clears throat> kept calling and saying, bring back the original Inca pen. So they have. Uh, and they've. I think they've added colors. I think it was originally just in the silver. Now there's a red Inca pen and a black. So what's neat about them is they just go on a keychain. Just pull out. This is great, like on a train or something. You need a pen. It's really quick to use. However, if you want a full-size pen, you can do that too. Okay? Uh, I unscrew it. Take the pen out unscrew this part it's it's uh okay a little more involved but it's very clever yeah yeah right uh this goes in here like that and then this cap pushes in Ta da i wish i had a p oh my stay there this is now you can sign your mortgage writing paper <laughs> with that one and we'll see oh there you go okay and you know ink pens you can write you have a very and, elaborate signature Yes, I do. But I can sign signatures really fast at, at conventions. <laughs> I'm not going to do that part. Um, and refills are available. They are now. 
the uh, night ice told me that have a lot of trouble with knockoffs. Okay, the barrel is aluminum. <clears throat> In one of the reviews on Amazon, it said, "Oh, they're now they're plastic." So if you want an Inca pen, my suggestion is to get it from Inker, and you can get it from Inker through Amazon. Okay, they are actually a little bit cheaper on Amazon. They're they're not Amazon Prime on on. The Night Eyes website, they're 12 bucks. But on Amazon, you get two of them for $21.56. So it's cheaper than uh, $12, be 24 bucks, and there would be shipping over at Night Eyes. This would be uh, the way to get them. Not Amazon Prime, but the shipping is free. Wait, I had an idea. We didn't have water here, but we have a drink here. Let's take an ice cube. I don't know if this is going to work. So let's just wet a piece of paper. Uh, uh, uh. You see, it can write. Uh, uh, um. I'm also writing on a towel, which is why I'm making holes right, in the so, paper. Because right, so I didn't, it the, didn't want to I'm, ruin I'm trying my to write desk. On a towel. But as you can see, I'm getting the paper wet, and it's still writing. Uh, 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 uh. It's writing and tearing the paper. Um, so it's, it's really great. I'm impressed. I, you know, I could jump out of my boat, and I could write on the bottom of my boat, "Barnacles stay out." All right. So the reason it's not writing all the way through is I'm actually going through the paper with the tip, but it does work writing in water and scotch and sc <laughs> oh, it's scotch and water. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> this 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 pen can't drink. <laughs> Night Eyes Inca back in business. Bye. It's that'll be perfect for the ice age, you know, if you got yeah, ice cubes yeah. all around, use your Inca pen. Yes, exactly. That Ex is so exa cool. Exactly. Um, um so there it is. It's uh about $10 a pin for uh it on Amazon. This is a two pack. And then right, and, and you know, it turned out. Uh, it turns out that it's not coming directly from Amazon. It was like filled by Ralph somebody. Because oh, I asked yes. a guy, I said, "Is it only? Are you only selling it in red online?" And he said, uh, "No, it, it must be another retailer who just decided to use red." So if you want colors, it's filled by yes. oh, some outdoor supply. Yeah. Yeah, Jay's outdoor. Jay's outdoor supply. From yeah, Philly exactly. Inca yeah, exactly. Uh, Anyways, so, yeah. if you need colors, uh, just go to Inca. And uh, nice. I'm heating into night eyes. Very cool. We could do. A, I'm sure, sure that there's a theme of keychain gadgets. Oh, you know that's that's a good that's a good one. We got to remember. You that. know what? I, I you know what? I'm Sell that to ABC. Me. I did. <laughs> good. Good. I, I did, but I totally <laughs> forgot. Four years ago, I did things you can put on a keychain, and people loved it, and I totally forgot about that. That's so great. thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Uh, Okie dokie. One, one All more. Right. All right. So there's one more. That there, there was a, another event called a Holiday of Play, and it turned out that it was the noisiest event I've ever gone to. <laughs> uh, I was meeting a guy there named uh, Ira Gallen, G-A-L-L-E-N, who has a website called TV Days. Actually, could you just put, uh, uh, put yeah. TV Days up for a minute? And Ira was going to interview me there because Ira and I go back like, 25 years um and if you go click on commercials uh, ira has i believe he's in the guinness book of record for having the largest collection of old wow. commercials in history oh wow and and he loves toys pan up and you'll see one of his uh showcase look at him wow <laughs> you think i have mad stuff wow i want to yeah. see this these ads oh i don't hear anything is that uh here one second sorry i know you're to fetch a pail of water dad fell down and broke his crown and jill came tumbling after Yes, the children stay young when you capture their voices on tape with an RCA push-button tape recorder. 
It's the perfect way to preserve the sounds of family living. But that's not all. Is that the guy who's to... always done that voice? Because I did not think that he looked like that. That's crazy. Wait, say that again? That guy, that voice, that sounds like the voice that uh, that is in every ad ever. Oh my God, yes, absolutely. That's the guy? Absolute, that very authoritative, but yeah. not threatening voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I would have I would have thought he looked completely not good, but he he's like <laughs> a good looking guy. A day in the life of your television service man. He's Johnny on the spot, day or night, weekdays and Sunday, whenever something goes wrong with your set. Between service calls, he does his homework. That's so crazy. That's that Chad awesome. at home. Yeah. You could spend hours. That's why uh, uh, this this uh, this coming Saturday on Giz Fizz, I think we're just going to spend some time here. It is. He's astounding. He is astounding yeah. with how much stuff he has. I, I, I would, I, God, we could just watch this all day. Like, yes, absolutely. Sony commercials, a yeah, a absolutely. It, 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 he's, he's great. Amazing. Uh, anyway, TV so days. TV days. TV day. So we we couldn't do the we couldn't do the interview because it was so noisy. And I thought, well, I can do an interview. Well, we did 15 seconds when it was just ridiculous. So I'll show my 15 seconds of a new toy that is kind of bizarre, and then we'll see the uh, rest of it from the uh, company commercial. So here it is. You were saying are there still Hatchimals? Well, look at this. This is the egg. Wow. And Kaylee here is going to show us this. Oh my. And they, yeah. start, they start having a party at the next booth. Uh, but this thing is, weren't you, were you yeah. talking about Hatchables? H Hatchables, yeah, yeah. And just how, like, the experience of it hatching is, like, yes, such a big yes. deal. And then you start, you, you know, you have a toy after. Um Well, this is the crazy. new one. So now you can run there 10 things. Yeah. It's only two, so two, two minutes. 10 go. things about Hatchables a Hatchable. God, sorry, I keep ten things about Hatchimal. <laughs> this is a very loud video too. Here, one second. Let's turn that down just a bit. There's so much Hatchimal's Wow can do. Here are the top ten things you need to know. Let's start with number ten. Open the box from the bottom, then remove the trust box at the bottom of the egg. Well, this is good. I like that they don't have now those on to number nine. <laughs> a What a nice fact. Yeah, yeah, parents, you can buy a Hatchimal, too. What a weird And not thing. have to use the pliers and scissors and that's, lawn shears to get like, out of the nice, box. That's nice, but what a weird thing to put into your It is, here. isn't it? Uh, making it the number one or uh, the yeah. number ten thing. Right? Yeah. You can get it out of the box. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Number nine, a short one, but an important one. Make sure not to forget the crystal confetti treat. Let's move on to number eight. You can remove the outer plastic wrap that says Hatchimals Wow on it, but make sure you keep the wrap with the ribbon on. That's super important. Whoa. On to number seven. There are both pink and purple lullacorns available, but you won't know which one you have until you have. Coming in at number six. Once lullacorn is done singing, take her out of the egg. Ready for number five? There is no wrong way to play. Just have fun and see what you can discover. Number four is super fun. There are lots of ways to make Lullicorn grow. The first way is to feed your Hatchimal. Lullicorns can get pretty hungry, so it's best to keep that confetti fruit nearby. Hold the fruit in your hand against your forehead until the eyes turn purple. That means that your Lullicorn is hungry. Now she'll chase the fruit up. And if you put the fruit and your hand on her belly, she'll chase the food down. Once she reaches all the way to the top, she'll start eating. Other ways to make her grow are tickling her belly, pumping her up like a balloon, and hypnotizing her. Uh, On to number three. I'm make sure drunk. All the super fun games Golly. and special tricks. This is this is like it kind of intense. Also, like the the whole lullicorn thing and. Wait, I, and I still don't understand why. Why do you need to leave the ribbon on? Why was that so important? I, I have no idea. When, when can you take the ribbon off? When you're done, let go of her feet. I think. I guess the first time it's out of the box, out of the egg. I guess. Touch her forehead to pitch it up. 
Yeah, that is weird. Like, I don't even know, understand how you would know how to do all the things. I guess you watch this top ten video, and then, then you know. Oh, she's putting it. Oh, okay. can hatch again and again and again. Well, I guess once the ribbon's gone. Thanks for watching. I guess. Wow. That is an intense toy. Okay, when I was a child, we had Furbies. That was about it. I could rub its belly and touch its tongue. That was yeah. all the Furby this, would do. This evidently, I was looking, it grows to 32 inches tall. It has 250 sounds and reactions. Also, I think the kid has to sort of learn a lot. I guess, I don't know yeah. why they said this. There's no strain. There's no right or wrong way to play with it. I think that's because they asked the guy to write the instruction book and he goes, N no, just <laughs> tell, the, tell, the, tell the kids to just keep touching it. <laughs> what, is all, what does it do? Anything oh, your what, imagination you can't imagine. No, I, I, unfortunately, I saw the price. Um, okay, chat, you go ahead. Yeah, chat room. Um, I will say I'm surprised by the price. Um, Too high, or you thought it might be higher? I thought it might be higher. I thought I, I, be I, I, I actually did. I, I thought it was going to be like ninety to a hundred dollars. Same, same. Uh, Ble Bleak says eighty, um, fifty. Merce Angel. Merce Angel. Yeah. Um, well, Bleak is Bleak is the, is actually the closest. Yeah. So, no, thirty nine. It's seventy seven dollars and for some reason if you click the coupon you get six uh, seven dollars and one cent off, which brings it to sixty nine ninety nine, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised. I would have definitely thought that this would have been in the more expensive category. Um like a like a yeah, I mean this is it's still, that's you know the price of a. It's a lot of money. AAA yeah, it is a video lot of game. Money. I mean, it's a lot of money, but I just thought with that much technology packed in, it'd be even more expensive. Um, yeah, and evidently it does funny things. Like if it sings, and it's going to hit a high note, it goes all the way up to the thirty-two inches to <laughs> hit to hit the high note. So uh, there's some fun stuff with it, but. Anyway, and it's it's a lala corn, which is a combination llama unicorn. Anyway, <laughs> uh, awesome. Okay, All uh, right. with that, I think that it is time. Whoops, there's my doc. <laughs> with that, I think that it is time for uh, yo yo need it. How you might want it at chance. <laughs> Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. Ooh, a life jacket. Yeah, look at that. Uh, this is Alibaba uh, month. So all of our gadgets are Alibaba gadgets. You want to play What the Heck Is It? What do you think this is, Dick? A more than a backpack? And It is a backpack, that's true. Anything uh, else? Uh, emergency backpack. It has stuff. If there's a, a, a no, no apocalypse. Nope. Okay. No. Uh, um. Anybody else? Let's see. Uh, podcasting studio portable. <laughs> a parachute? No, not a podcasting studio. No, no, no. It is a backpack, so I'll give you that. But inside, on the other side of this backpack is. A cat carrier with a cat inside. What? Look at that! Look at that! That's that's the that's the secret here. So cat, uh, cat sold separately. Yes, cat sold separately. Yes, this cat did not come from China. Oh um, my god! So I recorded a video earlier about it. So let's uh, take a look at that. Hey, diggity! So here we are with another Alibaba gadget. This is the backpack cat carrier. And inside of here right now is Jack Jack. I can see his little paw. Boy, little Jack Jack is very. Um, but this is a yeah, to carry your cats around uh, instead of a oh. normal cat carrier. Now, what's funny is, and he has a whole bunch of different air holes, by the way. There's a mesh, there's holes over here. The bubble is really reflective, so I don't know how well it's going to show up in video. <laughs> Um, so I'll just kind of keep it open for you to see a little kitty cat in here. He actually really, really, really likes the carrier. Oh my uh, gosh. Fact, 
he sometimes just hangs out inside of it. I don't know why he likes it so much, but he actually really, really, really loves this thing, uh, which is awesome compared to the normal cat carrier that I have to use. Uh, the cats absolutely hate it. So on the back, it has two straps. It also has a connecting bit right here, so it will connect together. I feel pretty safe with the cats inside of it. It has so many different air holes and uh, ventilation. Um, getting a cat fight back there. Uh, it even has some pads and stuff inside um, as well. Let me see if I can grab Waffles and put her inside. There's two entrances. Uh, there's obviously the big dome. But there's also this little side entrance as well. Let me go ahead and set this down. See if Waffles can put her little head inside. And just go ahead and walk on in. Oh, no, doesn't. Waffles has not had nearly as much time as Jack Jack has inside of the carrier. Almost all the way. There you go. And <laughs> your little tail is outside. There's also <laughs> a, uh, I've kind of removed this, but there is a, clip this is i actually have fed through one of the holes so it normally goes inside of there and i assume that you could attach this to a cat collar if you happen to have one because i don't it just kind of dangles in front of the cat and so uh i thought that it would be better to to leave that out but you can see kitty cat is all fine i haven't even zipped her all the way up because her tail is kind of out but you could just throw this on your bag backpack style back backpack style i mean to say and uh, you can just wear it as just a normal backpack and move around. I don't really know when I would use this a whole bunch. I don't really have to take my cats out um, and about a whole bunch, but I would definitely use this over a, like a normal um, cat carrier, given the chance, because I feel like the cats enjoy it a lot more. They can see a lot more and they're just not freaked out by it all that much. So here we are just kind of taking her on a little trek uh, outside. Waffles loves the outside, even though she's not allowed. And I could see <laughs> if you're the type of person that like wants to take your animal um, out and about like to the coffee shop or whatever, this would be like adorable uh, to do. Hi Waffles. Hi. <laughs> hey, so, can you get me some catnip? Yeah, exactly. So Jack Jack's still in here, and and oh my uh, gosh! Like sometimes uh, he's been in there for a little while since I've had him in there since the beginning of the show. So he may want to come out now. But um, when I first got it, I would just kind of leave it around, and he would walk in this side door and just chill out. And now the side door's open for him to leave, and he's still not leaving quite yet. Now a few things, uh, one downsides is that uh, it, it came with a, like a protective piece of film over the, oh there he goes, now it's, now it's time to leave. Um, protective piece of film over the dome. And for some reason that was stitched into the zipper. So you can see I wasn't able to get that protective film uh. all the way off in certain areas and like over here, it's still kind of attached a little bit. And then also when they shipped it to me, they folded it up and then shoved it in the thing. And so it's permanently bent the plastic right there, um, which is kind of annoying. And I was hoping that it would pop back after a little while and it really hasn't. And on top of that, the, the bag is still like warped almost oh. from how they originally oh, like, shipped oh it. Oh my gosh. And it's never ever really popped back. And it's been here for a good two, three weeks, uh, kind of sitting out trying to get it to like pop into a normal sort of shape. So that's kind of some downsides. Um, also for some, for whatever reason, the insert inside is a pink plastic instead of a red color. It's not plastic, oh, yeah. it's the same, it's kind of the same outward material, but it's pink instead of, it's like I sh they made a red version, but they didn't give me that version, they gave me the pink version. Um, cost, it cost $21, that's how much I got it for. Uh, wow. Currently, it that's looks like the cheap. cheapest one is $22. Um, so here's my red version, now it's $23. 
Is that a real cat or is that a fake cat in there? It looks it, like a, looks, a fake cat. Almost looks like a fake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they threw a fake cat in that. Um, but there's, if you want to do any type of like looking around, there are so many versions of this on Alibaba and AliExpress. Um, this one, uh, I've been fairly happy with it uh, so far. This clip is that clip I was talking about that looks like it goes. It attaches to the cat collar, which I, I don't like. Um, but there you go. And that's um, yeah. the little backpack. You know, you know s someone in the chat room had a, had a thought that I had. Th that wasn't a sunscreen protection over the oh. back of the thing, was it? This thing? No, no, that you peeled off. Oh, no. No, no, no. It was... Uh, no, okay. No. It was like a normal okay. film. It, it, it was too wrinkly. It was like any oh, okay. protective... It was not well applied. It definitely looked like a protective thing. I think um, it's pretty neat, actually. Yeah, and there's also tons. I mean, like I'm like I said, tons of different varieties of this type <coughs> of product. So if you wanted one that looked more like a pokeball, uh, or that had a ball window in it, um, all of the, uh, this one has a little extender out of the back. There's all sorts of different varieties of this backpack. Uh, yeah, as well. you know that that last one you should. I think that's big enough uh, to sell a, as an apartment in New York City. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, it could be a dog hotel too. You know. Yeah. All sorts. I think that's pretty neat. Um, it would. It, I would probably use it to bring my cats to the vet. Um, the the large opening is quite nice that you can kind of set your cat there, hold them there, and then zip them up uh, around, and it's it seems to be pretty good. Um, so yeah, there you go, cat backpack, twenty uh, two ish dollars on AliExpress. Not not so crappy is the review no, it's excellent, it. excellent. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this letter fits in with my scientific uh, opening because he says, Hi, Dick and Chad. I bought three speakers for 10 SGD or $7.30 uh, United wow. States dollars. I took the circuit out, connected a bigger battery and speakers. I got the idea from one of your videos uh, I, you have to use round speakers to easily cut the hole. The whole setup took three hours. In the video, uh, I say 5,200 milliamps. It should be 520 milliamps. Uh, regards, Henry. I think he said Shanghai. But here's his video of a do-it-yourself video. Perfect. Hi, Dick and Chat. This is Henry from Singapore. What happens is that I'm going to show you um, this. This is a uh, 3 for $10 Bluetooth speakers which I picked off the net. They are really cheap mainly because the batteries are dead. Okay. What happens is that this is actually a, a Bluetooth speakers with um, 5200 mAh uh, battery. Okay. And it has a small driver, a small speaker as you can see, it's not really that big. And what happened is that I took out the circuit, the board here, and I put it into a gigantic system like this. Okay. Whoa. And on top of that, I changed the batteries to this kind of um, notebook batteries. They are actually uh, 3,700 milliamp batteries. Okay, as you can see, I have two inside. Okay. Not sure if you can see that. Uh, if that small little battery can last me 5 hours, I'm pretty sure this can last me like 10. Okay. And then uh, I have them put it in this way. It's kind of hard with only one hand. Okay. 
Okay, it's all the way in. Ah. And let's try out the sound from a speaker this size. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. The so Bluetooth I'm not sure. device is connected successfully. <laughs> As you can see, mm -hmm. it's actually working now. On this episode of and, uh, Gadgets, we have a jam-packed episode 3 Gadgets from Pepco. It has more bass compared to the small speaker. And uh, obviously, the battery is going to last for a lot longer. Hopefully, um, 5 to 10 hours. Thank you. <laughs> That is a nice way to upgrade. I don't know yeah. if I would feel comfortable doing that. <laughs> no. Uh, I would be terrified. I would be like, uh, yeah, I feel like something would go wrong if I did it. I know, I, and he did it in three hours. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine that with the Tesla battery? That would last for so long. <laughs> yeah. That's um, awesome. That was great. So uh, I, I've already lost his name here. Oh, uh, Henry New. Henry, that's really great. And let's see, Henry, you you live in Shanghai. Um, you know, for some reason, you said if you if we show the video, could I send a mad to an orphanage? Um, did you mean an orphanage? You you know whatever. If it's an like, orphanage, <laughs> instead of sending you, I, I'll send I'll send twenty five dollars to the orphanage if it's uh, in Shanghai. Okay. Oh, Henry's so email in chat. email me. It'd be easier to do that than to try and get a mad and stuff to Shanghai if I can, <laughs> if I can use the internet to send twenty five dollars <sighs> to the orphanage you have in mind. Uh, in the meantime, we need more videos. Okay, so make a video anything to do with a gadget. It can be a do-it-yourself gadget like uh, Henry uh, showed us, a gadget you hated, uh, anything. Make a video one to three minutes, put it up on YouTube, send us the link. You can click on listed when you upload it if you don't want people to just stumble across it. Send us the URL, and if we show it on the show, and as I said, 99% of the videos are on the show. So do it horizontal uh, format and make sure we can hear you and see the gadget. That's it. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Just send us the URL. And I think we could use something for next week. And if you sent something in and I missed it, email me again and say, Dickie forgot that I sent and re resend it to me. Mail at gizwiz.tv. With that, let's move on to the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the Gizwiz letters now. Now. And this is, this is well, Chad and I, we know nothing about the show till about three minutes before we do it. Uh, so this is so strange that I have this letter. Hi, Dick and Chad. Years ago, a vet showed me an easy way to load a cat into a carrier. <laughs> oh, this is very uh, apt. This is perfect. Yes, check out this short video, signed Paul Grisbaum, uh, G-R-I-E-S-B-A-U-M. Uh, uh, Paul, here's the video that he found and is sending us. I love this. Okay. Hi, this is Charlie and Casey with Pet First Animal Hospital. Today we're going to show you a little tip to get a cat um, that doesn't like to go in the cat carrier in a little bit easier. You want to take your cat carrier, open the door, you want to stand it up on its back, and you want to take the cat and you want to scruff it lightly, grab its back legs, and you want to lower the cat in from the bottom and then lower all the way down. And that way you less fighting and it should still be in there. That cat's like, hey, I didn't do anything. I'm I'm the placid <laughs> cat. What the heck? That's a good Oh uh, 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 yeah. Do you pick a is that the way to pick up a cat? I'm not a cat. Yeah, person. they have a they have a natural kind of scruff. They have a handle them. back there? Really? <laughs> Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, and so if you're, if you're gentle about it and light about it, uh, you can use that to kind of lift them up. Um, and you'll see like mama cats kind of picking up their cats that way, uh, 
too. Um, so yeah, that's a great yeah, idea. Chan yeah. Dennis says the neck is the cat's off switch. It kind of is. They'll it'll almost like I the way I don't know if this is true. I've never I haven't done any research into this, but how it was explained to me when I was in elementary school. Uh, so you take that fact toyed <laughs> with a grain of salt. Was that? Uh, oh my god, that's going back three years. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, when I heard this yesterday in elementary school. Um, was that like cats kind of have this natural like paralyze effect because when you're kittens, the mama cats would pick them, pick them up. That, that, that that's way. what Dan Wally in the chat room is saying. That's yeah. how mothers move. move yeah. Them. And so they kind of naturally like stop moving. Um, oh, okay. And th so you kind of saw that cat kind of being like, ah, um, and it's cause they like, it almost like freezes them up uh, in a way. Oh, okay. Um, Boy, this show has just been a learning experience. Today. I know. Holy we, we start cow! Off with Lutz, Lut, Lutz, Lutz, something I already forgot. Yeah, the Lutz in one meter. ear out the yeah. other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's a that's a very. I'll, I'll try that then because my cat Sella, she is uh, she's not an easy one uh, to work with. So okay. I'll be using that technique. That's why. Earlier, I, I think in a different episode, I mentioned I have to wrap her in a towel and then place her into, like, <laughs> I'm like, cat burrito, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> get in there. And then once she's in there, she kind of gets out of the towel and she's fine. Um, and that's how I do it right now. Uh, works for big cats, too, apparently. Um, yeah, see, this is like a, um, an example. Right, mother cat oh, carrying oh my God, baby yeah. cat. Although the baby cat doesn't seem to think that's such a great idea. <laughs> no. She's going, please, mom, let me down. I just wanted to play. Uh, and there you go. With that, hey, we're coming to the end of our episode, but I want to say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you so, 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 so much for supporting our show. If you head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz, you'll see our Patreon page. This is where you can support. If you enjoy the show, please consider giving back at patreon.com slash gizwiz. And if you have in the past, you're currently supporting, or you have, or you're going to, I guess, in the future, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so, so, so much for your support. Thank you so much for your generosity. You guys make the show happen every single week. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If, PC guy said this is like a PBS show today. <laughs> it is. And this is it is because we're also asking for money. So we're we're, publicly it, funded. It, we're, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. Person funded. The person uh, yes. person the, the personally public, funded. The people in the public are funding us, not are funding publicly us, exactly. funded, I guess. Yes. Um and if Patreon's not your deal, uh, we have a PayPal link on our website, gizwiz.tv. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can see the show live every Thursday, just about 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time. Uh, we will have a schedule change, not next week, but the week after on the 23rd, if memory serves correct, and normally it doesn't, so I'll just double check that right now. 23rd, 23rd uh, will be on a Wednesday. Uh, next week, everything's fine. The week after that, we'll be on a 23rd. Uh, and that about wraps it up for our show. Please remember to send in your videos, mail at gizwiz.tv. We need those. And you can, on our website, if you don't catch it live, you can subscribe. You can watch all of our episodes after the fact. Oh, don't forget to play What the Heck Is It? Over there at gizwiz.biz. There we have the game show online that you can participate in. They have half a month left. Yeah, exactly, 20 days, 20 21 days. 20 days. So if you're listening to this, get in your votes now. And this is the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget. Uh, this is obvious uh, to me. This is kind of an old timey gadget. You would slip your socks over those um, sort of, you know, extenders and then you could set this whole thing by the fire and warm out your socks and make sure if you had soggy socks you'd warm warm them up just like that sock warmers for the fire if you think you know what this gadget is get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz there are six mad magazines for correct answers 18 sorry 12 mad magazines for funny clever hilarious and incorrect answers so get a guessing 
over at Gizwiz. And you'll be playing for the final, completely original issue of Mad Magazine. Oh, mine just arrived. I should... I forgot uh, to bring it up. Yeah, it came. Uh, yeah, it came out this past uh, couple Just days. Just arrived. That that one's a keeper, folks. So if you haven't played a what the heck is it in a while, this is the one to get into to get your chance to win that Mad Magazine. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week. I'll be here. <laughs>